Hey what is up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here, my name is Emma and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. It's 23 minutes past 7, I'm currently looking out the window because the sun is rising and I, okay, the camera's not going to do it justice but I'll show you guys. Is that not just the most beautiful thing you've seen today? Today's Wednesday the 24th of June so I thought I'd do a bit of a vlog for you guys because I feel like I haven't actually vlogged in quite a while because obviously... <laughs> I haven't really been doing much. Normally I wake up at like 7.30 but Owen has work starting at 8 o'clock this morning so I wanted to get up and talk to him a little bit before I went to work. But I'm going to go do a workout. Can't show you guys because I'm still on the Switch Shred It program up to week 13 I want to say. So that's like over halfway through the second ebook which is insane. I was talking to Bella. I don't know if you guys don't know Bella. She does TikTok so you probably would have seen at least one of her TikToks come up on your For You page. But I was talking to her about it like because she's been doing it as well. We can't believe that we stuck to it this whole time. So we are proud of ourselves and we're kind of like we're actually disappointed. Well disappointed is not the right word but we're sad that it's going to be ending soon. So we're trying to come up with like something else we can do or somehow we can use the ebooks and switch it up or whatever. So I'm going to go do the workout for today. And then I'll check in with you guys afterwards because obviously I can't show you what I'm doing because that's illegal. But I'll check in with you guys afterwards. Welcome to Sweaty Shredder. Workout done. Mum also, mum's doing sweat it to shred it now too. Right mum? Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Um, I think so. <laughs> so she's just started week one of the whole... Thing. But my workout was good, had a shower, washed my hair, and now I'm having breakfast. So I actually made these oats last night. So this is like an overnight oats recipe. I will put it in the description box for you guys. It's super easy. So last night it was just like oats, cacao powder, a little bit of salt and milk. And this morning I mixed in some maple syrup, some nut butter, and there's obviously coconut and berries on top. And I added some cacao nibs. But I want to show you guys the nut butter I used. Because if you're from New Zealand, you probably would have seen this, but it's called the Fix and Frog Everything Butter. It literally contains everything. So we've got hemp seeds, almonds, peanuts, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, and flax seeds. It's like just past nine o'clock, so at quarter past ten. Mum and I are going for a little trip because I'm going to get my ears sucked out. So that'll be fun. I've had breakfast, so I just blow dry my hair because it's kind of, it was still a bit wet. A lot of people have also noticed I got my hair dyed, yes. I just got some blonde highlights put through it. They're a little bit stripey at the moment. Hopefully they'll settle down a little bit but I'm going to straighten my hair because it's yeah it needs to be tamed a little bit before I go anywhere so I'm going to do that in a second but for breakfast obviously I had the oats. I didn't actually finish them because they didn't taste as good as I remember them tasting like a couple of years ago I used to have them quite regularly and I used to love them but for some reason today I was just like mm, nah this is not the best. So I ended up having two pieces of toast as well with like half of the overnight oats so I'm very full right now, which is good. Good way to start the day. But I'm going to straighten my hair now. And just like that, my hair is straight. I normally, like, during lockdown, I, I was really good. And that obviously I wasn't going anywhere. So I wasn't straightening it. When I washed it, I'd plait it, sleep in it overnight. And then wake up in the morning, take the braid out. And it would be, like, wavy. And I really liked that. But kind of felt like it made me look a little bit like a child i don't know i'm very self-conscious about looking like a child at the moment don't know why i met someone the other day and she was a third year uni student in dunedin and she asked was asking me about like what i do and i was like oh i'm like a white kid at uni and she thought i was a second year student i took that as the biggest compliment of my life as i was saying sorry i went on a bit of a tangent there my hair now that it's like colored i feel obliged to straighten it because i'm like why would i spend money if i'm not gonna make it look good i like it being blonde though because i as a kid my all of my head was this color all of my hair was this color and i loved it and then as i got older my hair got darker obviously i'll turn around so you can see I'm going to look back at this clip and actually see for myself what it looks like because I haven't really seen it from the back yet. Still like 10 minutes we have to leave. I need to sort myself out, put some shoes on, get you ready. We'll do an outfit of the day for you guys really quickly though. It's Calvin Klein jeans. This is from the Iconic. I got like ages ago. Belt is from Princess Polly. Jeans are from Glassons. I got them ages ago as well. And what shoes am I going to wear? Also I get heaps of questions about this. It's from Ikea. Obviously we don't have Ikea in New Zealand. I did tell someone the name of it the other day. I'll put the name in on the screen like down here so you guys can see what it's called. You can get them from like importing places. Kind of expensive but 
kind of worth it. You can also mount it to the wall, but I'm lazy, so it's just sitting on the ground. Time to go to this ear appointment. Also, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an explanation as to what this ear thing is, because I won't probably be able to film in there. I've never actually seen it, obviously, because it's getting like done to me, but it's like, I think it's like a little tiny, like a needle, but it's like a vacuum cleaner, and they put it in your ear. You're either gonna love the sound of this or hate the sound of this, but personally, the most satisfying feeling ever. Like, I look forward to this, so. They basically just put it in your ear and it like sucks out all the earwax. As you guys know, I have psoriasis and I literally get it in my ear canals. So that means the earwax can't naturally like come out of my ears. It just builds up until I can't hear. So at the moment, my hearing is not doing too well. And I was actually supposed to get them done before lockdown. I was about to book. And then lockdown was announced and I was like, oh. Frick. Also, to give you a bit of a rundown of what's happening today, I've also got an eyebrow appointment at quarter past two to get my eye. They don't actually look that bad on camera, but when you look up close, they're just a little bit like, mm. Ears have been sorted out. Mum's coming. She's just taking a photo of a Land Cruiser because my uncle took it to Russia or Beijing or something. Anyway, ears have been sucked out. That felt amazing. Normally they use like a little suctiony vacuum cleaner, but this guy literally just stuck a thing in and just pulled it out. And what would you say? He probably pulled up two like raisin almond sized. Yep. Well, like a pea. Yeah, two pea sized balls of earwax out of each ear. I'm sorry if you find this disgusting, but I find this so satisfying. Literally, I can hear so much better now. It's weird. We just got home and it's five minutes to 12 and I kind of think I might have lunch very shortly but I also have a hive of clothes that I need to, well I don't need to sell but I'm going to sell. So I'm just trying to get my shoes off. We went to the supermarket and got like some bread and stuff on the way home but I also need to take photos of these clothes which I'm selling. These yellow vans, absolutely love those but I just don't wear them enough to justify owning them and I feel like someone else would get much better wear out of them. Gingham top, don't really wear that too much anymore. I love this but I feel like I've just got my wear out of it. And in this jacket which I'm actually selling on behalf of Owen. This which I've had for ages, tell myself I'm going to wear it and never do. Oh that just fell. And then this white top which I got in Sydney. I have a little command hook which I just do with blue tack. So I like attach it. Oh I'm also selling this top as well. And stick it up on there. I need to take the photo before the hook falls. Okay let's do this. So photos have all been taken, so now I need to go put those up on my selling page. And there may be some of them still available on my selling page if you head over there now. It's just ESTC underscore selling. It's the account that I share with my friend Tia Campbell, hence the ESTC, like Emma Stevens, Tia Campbell. It is a private account, but if you request it, we'll accept you. Quarter past 12, so let's go some lunch. I'm making sandwiches. I'm making, like, buns. These buns with the cheese and the bacon on top are the best buns in the whole entire world. So I've got Olivani on it, which is just that. And I'm about to put some ham on it, some lettuce, which was left over from last night's salad, some mung beans, some cucumber, cheese, and some carrot. And if you guys have seen my university video, you'll know that I get four bits of cucumber for my salad. So since there's two buns, we have, hopefully I counted right, it was going to be really awkward, eight pieces of cucumber. Here is the finished product. Honestly, if I went to a restaurant and they handed me this, I'd be stoked. Okay, maybe it doesn't look as good as it's going to taste. I've just been talking with my suppliers who rang me earlier because I am getting quotes to bring out a new product for you guys which is I would say very fitting to my personality. You can try guess below if what you think it may be. I was actually a girl, Lily, I know you'd be watching this, hello, she suggested that I make this particular product. So I've got the quotes for it and I'm literally about to order them like right now. So they should be up on my website in about two weeks time but there is stuff which may even just about be up on my website by the time this video comes out which will be really exciting. I have to go to my eyebrow appointment in like 20 minutes or so. I'm very excited for that also. Oh that's right that's what I was going to say. Sarah's Day today teased on her Instagram story about more active wear. So you guys know that I love Sarah's Day like a lot. I have some of her active wear from her 101 Daydreamers collection. I wanted to get some from her Reboot collection but it sold out so didn't get any. I was going to buy some in the October collection but now I'm like do I really need it? Probably not. I was talking to Courtney because Courtney's, I haven't actually met her but she is so lovely. Courtney I know you'll be watching this as well. Hello. I sent it to her. I was like oh my gosh like look at this. Like look when Sarah put the teaser on her story. We're both fangling a little bit so I'm very excited to see what Sarah's going to pull out because she's honestly like she just Oh, she just keeps bringing the goods. I need to send this email to my supplier 
and get the stuff sorted for you guys and then I'll go to my eyebrow appointment. It's a plan. Okay, I can't help myself. I have to give you guys a little bit of a... I'm getting a phone call. Hello, Emma speaking. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. I'll be back in this afternoon to pick those up. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so that was actually good timing. On Monday, when I came back from Hamilton, I went with mum into town, we went shopping, and I went to Bed Bath & Beyond. Can't remember what we went in there for, but I ended up buying some pajamas, because I don't know, if you're from New Zealand and haven't been and tried, if you're a girl and you haven't tried Bed Bath & Beyond's PJs, what are you doing? They had a special on, so it was $15 like per piece, so like $15 for a, like, a PJ top, $15 for the pants. So I spent $75, but they had these pants and they were so cute. You'll see them shortly when I go to pick them up. They only had an extra small, so I said, oh, can you get this for me in a small? So they ordered one in for me and that just arrived, which was her calling to say that they had, which is so exciting. Anyway, this here, this is the design for this product I'm making and I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to guess down below what you think this is for. I've just pulled up outside where I'm getting my brows done. I'm planning on just getting a shape and a tint on my brows, but I may, depending on what she says, get my lashes done too, like tinted. I don't know, we'll see. All right, let's go. And done. On my way to my brow appointment, I dropped my mum off at the doctor's because she had a physio appointment for quarter past two and my appointment was for quarter past two and obviously we didn't want to bring two cars, so we're just a carpooling. So I'm now waiting at her work because that's like just down the road from the doctor's. So she's going to come because I like knew that I'd be able to get a park here, so she's coming to meet me here, but I don't know where she is. It's now 10 to three, so how long does a physio appointment take? I don't know. But brow appointment went really good. I just got the brows tinted and shaped, and obviously the skin around here is all, like quite red because I have very sensitive skin. I'm waiting for mum, and then I would need to go to bed bath and beyond to pick up those pajama pants the lady rang earlier to tell me we were ready. And I also want to go into Kathmandu because I really want to get a puffer vest, like the sleeveless ones. So it doesn't have to be like a full puffer jacket. I don't know. Not going to lie, I see people wearing them. They look so cool and warm and comfy. But yeah, I will see you guys later on when I'm not just sitting in the car waiting for mum. We are now home and it's 20 minutes past four. We went and picked my nana up to have dinner with us tonight, which is cool. Mum's making Caesar salad. But we went into Mum's work, which is a pharmacy. I don't know if you guys have heard of Glasshouse Candles, but a better way of me explaining what it is, which will probably make more sense to you, is you know when you're in the mall, right, and you walk past Peter Alexander and you get this lovely whiff of vanilla, like caramel kind of type scent? That is a Glasshouse Candle. That is called a Taha Candle, if you're curious. I actually have it here, which I've used quite... I actually, fun fact, um, Danielle... Don't know if you're watching this, but I gave away one of these when I hit 1,000 subs and Danielle from Tauranga won it. The Taha candles. That's pretty much what my bedroom smells like at the moment. But my university room, you can't obviously have candles. So I saw this sitting on the shelf in the farm. So there's the last one left. It's like a diffuser. It's one of the ones where you put like the sticks in it. I'll get out in a minute and show you. But it is sugar dust and lily flavored. So saw this, gave it a sniff. Thought it just smelled good, so I got it. And then I got a moisture mask, which is the um, facial moisturizer I use overnight. And then a mascara, linking back to what I said about looking like a child. I feel like this is gonna help prevent me from looking like a child. I also went into Bed Bath & Beyond and picked up my PJ pants. They're like cuffed at the bottom and like elastic at the top, pink drawstring, fake buttons, and a nice Dalmatian print. These look very similar to my Sarah's Day activewear tights, and I'm all for it. I just set up my little diffuser. I actually need to throw this out. I, I just put it there because I did a little Instagram story with it because glass house stuff. I cannot say anything better about it, honestly. Not sports at all by any means, but I used to work in the pharmacy and like this stuff, like, oh my gosh, never thought the products came in. I'd be like, and they're like sniffing all of it. But anyway, that is not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to say that I was telling you guys about my puffer vest situation. And I'm here to say that I bought one, but I don't have it with me because they didn't have my size in store. So they've ordered it in for me and it's going to be coming like in a week's time. When you're seeing this vlog, hopefully I will have it by then, which is really exciting. And mum also, I'll show you, she got some containers. She actually got them a while ago. I don't know if you guys have heard of Simplify My Home. This is also not Spons. I feel like I'm plugging so many brands in today's vlog. If you guys know Simone Anderson, she's a New Zealand influencer. But she has these Simplify My Home containers in her 
pantry. So basically they're like glass little round containers with a bamboo lid which is like fully sealed and whatever but you use them to store like the spices, flour, sugar. So I convinced mum being the salesperson that I am, just kidding. I convinced her to get a set of spice jars because the ones that she had when they built this house like 20 something years ago. So they're very dated and I think a few of them were broken and you couldn't actually fit a spoon to scoop the stuff out so it was kind of, it didn't really, it wasn't very ergonomic. So she has bought a whole new set of spice jars and she got the first lot when I was still in Hamilton, so she stored them out there actually in the pantry already and I used them the other day when I was baking and I'm in love. But the next lot arrived last night, so she's washed them all and they're all ready to have the stuff put in them and have the labels put on them. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. It'll be very clear in a moment and you're gonna fall in love as well, trust me. I'm gonna go downstairs and help her to put them in the containers because she said last time it was kind of a pain to have to do it, but I have a lot more patience than her. And I'm gonna admit that, Mum, if you're watching this, I have more patience than you. I'm gonna go help her with that right now. And get something to eat because I'm hungry. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eat as well. <sighs> oh my gosh, so much to tell you guys, so much to fill you in on. I just realised it's gonna be noisy in the kitchen lounge area because Dad's watching TV with Nana. I'll talk about it now and then I'll show you. But Simone Anderson, who I was just talking about with those containers, she has a cookbook which she bought out. It started a lockdown, I think it came out. I ordered it during lockdown and it only arrived like probably a month ago. And obviously I wasn't home, so since I've been home, I've been baking up a storm. I've made her broccoli balls, the muffins, the cookies, the protein balls. I honestly love. But I made the bliss balls and I've just made a second batch last night and they are so yummy. So I'm going to go eat one of those now, but I'll show you what they look like they are. So good. I actually don't like bliss balls, so this is coming from someone who doesn't like them and I'm here to say that they taste so good. So basically you buy the jars and then you buy the labels separately. So you choose the font and you choose if you want them in black or white. Obviously you like peel it off and stick them on. These are mum's old containers I was talking about. So they're not quite as trendy as these ones. I'm trying to convince mum to get a whole set of these so that she can put her flour and sugar and all that sort of stuff in these. Are you convinced? Rome wasn't built in a day, you know. have managed to get these all labeled or looking good this one was a bit of a challenge because the black was like the word black was separate to the sesame seeds but but i managed to line it up pretty good sorry this light makes me look very orange dinner has been had it was the caesar salad i think i mentioned that earlier but it was crack up as mum's like dinner's ready i'm like oh yay sweet she's like it looks like is missing something. So it's Caesar salad, so she has like, the lettuce, the croutons, and the chicken, and the sauce. And I was like, avocado? Bacon? Pums and cheese? <laughs> Boiled eggs? Where are they? So then she's like, oh, right, sorry, I forgot. And then she got the rest of it together. So that was a bit of a laugh. Owen rang me after dinner, he was on his way from work to train, so it was really nice to talk to him. But I just wanted to come on here, I'm gonna try not to cry. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, would have seen um, a story I made. I may or may not put the screenshots, and I don't really wanna draw attention to it. I don't Want you, I'm not asking you guys to comment, I'm not making this a pity party, but I did want to give a voice to people who may not be able to speak up on this. I posted a photo on Instagram, like, I don't know if it'll be my most recent post when this comes out, but basically someone commented on it and said something about my hair. And I think I said earlier in this vlog how my hair, like, kind of looks a little bit stripy, but, like, it's whatever. Like, I don't mind. And so I deleted the comment. I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not having this, because I tagged their friend. I'm like, this is going to become a whole thread, and I'm not... I'm not putting up with this. So I deleted the comment and I went back on Instagram about 10 minutes later and the person had commented again. I'm not saying names, um, I don't even know what their name is. I assume that they don't know me well because someone who knows me well wouldn't comment something like this. Someone who has, I'm sorry I'm going to be brutally honest here, someone who has any sense of, wait why is my camera about to stop? Hang on. Sorry I said to clear a few things off my SD card but what I was trying to say is anyone who has any decency or any I don't know what the word is, but kindness in them would not comment this. I'm sorry if the person watching this is watching this and are offended, I'm sorry, but I need to give a voice to people who don't have a platform or don't have the courage to speak up on this because it's not acceptable. So someone commented and said zebra. Yes, I know. My hair has stripes in it. That's called highlights. Yes, I understand they probably are a little bit more vivid and more straight lines than normal. It's all good. Do I care? Nah, not really. I love my hair. It's one of my favourite parts about me. 
and this person just had to make this comment and then their friend came back and made some other comment about like a zebra crossing and I just it was embarrassing just because I am a social media influencer does not make me any less of a human I am still a human I still have feelings I'm a teenage girl just like probably 80% of the people watching this video right now. I have insecurities just like you guys. I'm no superhero. I'm not bulletproof. And just because I'm an influencer does not change a thing, okay? I read everyone's comments. I see them. I'm trying to tell myself not to cry because this is pathetic. People need to understand. Like, I could go around in circles. I could be here for hours talking about this. And I know it's only one little comment, but that is not the point. The point is the comments shouldn't have been made. And no comments like that that are rude degrading or anything should be made on social media to people's faces or behind their backs. If you're not going to say something to someone's face then don't say it at all. That's all I'm saying. Honestly it just... yeah. I kind of regret putting on my story now because I, yeah, yeah I've got so many DMs about it. That wasn't the, that wasn't the point that I wanted to make. I didn't want people to miss, like the point of it wasn't to look for sympathy. The point of it was to show people, hey I'm here, I'm a human, I'm so freaking normal and I cannot stress that enough yeah, this is pathetic I need to shut this off and I'll talk to you guys later on it is 10 30 now I'm fine I'm good I'm well you guys have been obviously it wasn't like a pity party but you guys sent in some really lovely messages so thank you to everyone who did send a message thank you to everyone who even just read the story that I put up I did just want to make a point of something I didn't make before which I thought I did obviously my head was in a very odd place when I was doing that little clip I do just want to say I know I was talking about the whole situation in a very like first person context of all about me 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 but the point I was trying to make and how I was saying about how I want to give other people a voice is I know that I'm not the only person who gets these comments on social media and people watching this if you're not an influencer you may get these sorts of comments I know I got these comments before I had like hardly any following. I'm talking like 400 followers. I didn't have the courage to speak up about it back then because I didn't. I feel like I didn't have anyone behind me. I'm here to say to everyone, anyone out there, cyberbullying or anything like that, it's not okay. It's not cool. So just don't do it. And also, if you are the one on the receiving end of it, don't be afraid to like speak up and actually like call them out for it because a lot of people might not even realize that what they're saying or what they're doing is hurting other people. And it can also like just bring them back down to earth a little bit. I'm gonna close up this vlog here. It's 10 30, so I don't need to go to bed. But thank you guys so much for watching this far. I don't really know how long this video is gonna be. I feel like I've done a lot of talking and not much doing, so I apologize because I know that you guys prefer the vlogs where I actually do stuff. So I'm sorry. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you made this fun video, please give a big thumbs up. My camera's flashing, gotta go really fast. Make some smile, and I'll see you in my next video. What is today? You're a child. Does it look cool? <laughs> My shoe's not coming off. That's disgusting. Oh, <clears throat> I can't speak today.